Hello guys, hello Philippines, good evening to all, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest uh, water analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, November 30 to December 2, 2022. And uh, this is the English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000, and it's already late in the evening of Wednesday, November 30th. Let's begin with our update, here's the GovSat we created this evening. We have now the, the f one of the first strongest surge of the northeast monsoon, but still hanging up there across extreme northern Luzon, bringing some winds of up to 70 kph along the coastal waters of Batanes, Baboy and Gulf Islands, Ilocos Norte. So expect some breezy conditions with uh, some cooler temperature, but not much because of the effects of La Nina, warm uh, sea surface temperatures continues. But uh, finally, the northeast monsoon is starting to uh, become stronger. And uh, together with the northeast monsoon, we have the shear line. This is the tail end of a frontal system up there to the east of Japan. And it's bringing some rains and possible thunderstorms across Cagayan and eastern Isabella. And it's expected also that the cloudiness of this uh, shear line will affect the northern portions of Ilocos Norte as well as uh, portions of Kalinga Apayao Kalinga and Apayao okay and uh, becoming more frequent across northern Cagayan and uh, over to the uh, eastern sections of Luzon including Calabarzon, Metro Manila, Bicol region, Mimaropa, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago and Carga which is expected to have some uh, rainfall and it's now um, extending across Visayas we have the northeasterly surface wind flow this is a weak amihan but it is, uh, it is enhancing rain showers and thunderstorms across the Visayas and it's expected to affect also the uh, portions of Sulu archipelago including Kuyu Island Amanpulu okay and uh, Pamalikan over at Mindanao, we have surface trough, rains and thunderstorms expected, especially along the offshore areas of Bangsamora, from Basilan to Tawi-Tawi, Holusulu, and also over the northern coastal areas of uh, Borneo. So, areas like Kalayan Island Group, the rest of the Spratlys will be under the influence as well of the northeasterly wind flow. LPA90W already dissipated and it's just a part of a near equatorial trough and this is a surface trough over at Mindanao and so far uh, it's already uh, uh, Christmas month okay we are nearing Christmas month in the next few hours as we enter the month of December we are lucky for the month of November we don't have any tropical cyclone formation okay Unfavorable conditions due to the strong easterlies generated by the prevailing La Nina has limited or uh, avoided tropical cyclone formation, but most likely if there will be a tropical cyclone formation this December, it will be over to the west of the country, over the West Philippine Sea, South China Sea area moving towards Vietnam as uh, the uh, latest uh, uh, global hazard forecast which we are going to show to you in a short while suggests formation to the west of our country and just like 2017 when we have this last La Nina although uh, this year this is the third year of a La Nina situation and if you take a look at the fast animation, there you go. These are strong thunderstorms generated by the uh, convergence of the northeasterly and the surface stuff over Mindanao, which is far up north, bringing some rains and thunderstorms over the Visayas and the uh, shear line over here. Let's zoom it. Okay, this is the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. You met Sat. There you go. These are cloudiness or thunderstorms over the Babuyan and northern Cagayan area this is generated by the shear line and we have building thunderstorms just to the north of Bicol region 
and along the coastal waters of uh, Partido District in Camarines Sur and Camarines Norte. So we expect rain showers and thunderstorms to occur over the Bicol region within the next 24 hours, particularly along the Partido District of Camarines Sur, Catanduanes, Eastern Albay, Camarines Norte. Maybe some of these uh, rain showers will be uh, moving into the Naga area, Iriga area, and and also the uh, various sections of Kamarini Sur. So we expect that within the next 24 hours, but mostly it will be just a VIF one. And here, these are strong thunderstorms generated by the northeasterly surface wind flow or the weak Amihan over at. Uh, the Visayas area and rainfall accumulation forecast until December 3 so we expect the rains will be focused along the eastern sections of the country because of the combined effects of the northeast monsoon northeasterlies as well as uh, possible developments of uh, shear lines across the eastern sections of the zone down here over uh, at the eastern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao while uh, surface trough will also be uh, bringing some rains and thunderstorms across Sulu, Archipelago, and Palawan, while isolated thunderstorms will be expected across Mindoro, Visayas, and various sections of Mindanao. So that's the latest from the rainfall forecast uh, accumulation for the next three days until December 3. Here's the uh, uh, forecast. Uh, of the uh, pressure and wind from the European model courtesy of windy.com so uh, for this afternoon we expect the prevailing northeast monsoon to uh, bring uh, strong winds of up to uh, or gale force winds of up to 70 kph across the northern portions of the west philippine sea the coastal waters of uh, southern china taiwan strait and along the uh, Patanis and Babu and Kobo Islands becoming light to moderate northeasterly winds across the eastern sections of the zone, including Metamila, Bico Region, Visayas, Mimaropa, and northeastern Mindanao. And on Friday, same situation, northeasterly is here. Saturday, it will again return to the usual easterly surface wind flow across the country as the northeast monsoon uh, will weaken come Saturday. Okay, and uh, so far that's uh, the forecast for the next three days. We don't have any tropical cyclone formation for the next 10 to 14 days, but there is a possibility of a tropical cyclone formation based on the American model over to the west of Palawan, moving towards Taiwan come December. 8, 9, or 10. Okay, so we are going to observe that uh, model. Before we leave you, here's the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next three weeks. Okay, so for week two, valid December 7 to 13, we have a 20 to more than 40 percent probability of a tropical cyclone formation to the west of Palawan over at Spratlys. Uh, and also across the eastern coastal waters of Vietnam. So uh, this situation is still at uh, low to medium probability, while here over the Philippine Islands we have a 20% probability of a tropical cyclone formation. And uh, for week two, the rest of the Philippine Islands will have uh, more than 25 or 50% probability of above average rainfall because of the ongoing La Nina. And uh, week three, valid uh, December 14 to December 20, continuing effects of the above average rainfall of more than 50% will be expected across the Philippine Islands, becoming more than 65% over. Ilocos region and Cagayan Valley because of the ongoing La Nina situation. Okay, so far that's the latest. Uh, we're lucky that the Philippine Islands are devoid of any tropical cyclone formation. So let's hope it will be this way until the end of December so that we will be having a very nice happy holidays and uh, Merry Christmas. Okay. 
to all of us here in the uh, Philippine Islands as well as all across the globe. Again, this is Mike Padua. We'll see you again on Friday to give you the very latest on the weather across the Philippine Islands and Western Pacific. Uh, again, uh, thank you for watching. Good night and God bless.